Good morning, everybody. Time for another shave review, this time on Noble Otter's The Trail. So, as I said last time, Noble Otter is a small artisan out of Texas and uh, Houston specifically. Um, they've been making soaps for a few years. However, last year they did take a sabbatical in 2017. And when they came back out this year, they had reworked the tubs. They had also reworked the formula. Um, they got mixed reviews, um, not really bad, but just not glowing reviews on their first formulation. However, in this formulation, um, they really did a very good job. Uh, this is full, full, full of, of good skin food. As a matter of fact, here is all the ingredient list right here. Uh, it is an amazing soap base. Um, uh, to the point where it was getting such good reviews, I went out and I blind bought three tubs of it. And this is the second tub I've, I'm, I'm going to use. I've already used Tay, uh, Tay Noir uh, Vanille. Um, this is the trail. So this is uh, more of a pine vetiver. And right off the top. So the notes is listed are right here. So the notes... All right, which which are listed on the on the tub on the nice side label. Um, so each one has a different color scheme. Uh, the Tay Noir was a black label. Uh, this is more of a pinkish label. Uh, the other one I have is Barbar, that's white. Um, so very nice, classy labeling. Um, not too busy. Uh, they list the scent notes right here, and they list the ingredients right here. You're not going to be able to read it. That's why I listed it on the screen. All right, so. The scent notes, you know, I can smell the pine and the fir, like, right off the top. It's, it's pine and fir. Um, and then you do get the sage. I'm not really get, getting any of the lavender. Um, I guess oak moss, I guess I smell, but that's a that's an earthy scent, so it kind of blend in well with the pine and the tar. Um, and then I get a sense of juniper. I don't smell the juniper. Um, as well as the rain, um, I've smelled rain that smells like a bunch of different things. So uh, that's a kind of an, an, uh, an amalgamous, very, I, I don't know what smells like rain. So um, rain kicks up a smell from the dirt. Um, in my experience, that's what I smell. But anyway. So it's a very piney smell. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, Sterling's Ozark, but it's a bit more complex. Uh, Sterling Ozark is, is, is a great scent. Um, however, it's, it's fairly simplistic and it's very good at being simplistic. Uh, but yeah, so packaging is very nice. Waterproof label on top. Again, you got the side label with all the information on it. Um, very simple um but the over simplistic i really like it um tub is nice you get four ounces of soap you get plenty of room um in your tub to to soak so we're going to go ahead and get started i'm doing something a little differently today so what i've got for you is i'm actually going to show you how i lather so take my lather bowl all right i do have a thin coat of water on the soap i'm going to take that and dump that right in my lather bowl Okay, pull the bowl down for a second. Um, and just to point out what I've got going on here, I've got my, my water basin right here. This is filled with lukewarm water. Um, I'm actually gonna top that up or cook with some hot water right here. All right, that's close to boiling. And uh, an automotive brush right here to wipe the, uh, the straight razor on. So the brush we're using today is a Wild West Shaving Company uh, Boss Synthetic Knot. This is a 24 millimeter knot. Um, Derek did a great job on this. Um, it's a it's a nice ergonomic handle. So this is what we're going to be using to load. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wet the brush, shake it out, and go right to the tub. The tub is fairly dry. It does have some residual water on it. We're just going to go and we're going to lather, lather up real quick. 
sorry if I'm not looking at the camera real quick, guys. Um, Got to see what I'm doing here. So this really, this soap really doesn't take that much to lather up. See, I've already built up a, a nice amount. I'm gonna wipe that in there. water that's in there. Start building water. Here's my trusty water bottle. My spray. Five sprays. Four sprays is about one tablespoon. So while I'm lathering I'll, I'll actually look up at you guys uh, periodically. I gotta see what the lather's doing. Um, so four sprays is about one teaspoon. Um, Thereabouts. I haven't measured it actually. Just a guesstimate. Um, thirsty, thirstier soaps will take probably somewhere in the range of 12 to 15 sprays. Um, whereas I have some soaps that only take six or seven sprays. Um, as far as I also use the spray bottle to bloom my soap, so I usually use seven sprays. Don't ask me why I came to that number, it just seems to be the right amount. Okay, so we need quite a bit more water. And I just kind of go five, four, three, two until it's ready. As far as the amount of sprays go. Splay the brush a little bit, get a little bit of air in that lather. Remember, lather is composed of three things. Soap, water, and air, that's it. So. The lather process is designed to incorporate the water and also incorporate air. Um, some soaps take and, and, and create larger bubbles, uh, larger air bubbles. Those tend to be your thinner soaps and the soaps that possibly could dissipate. They don't have very good stability. And other soaps make more of a creamy lather. And we're almost there. So I'm just going to put one, two. That should be enough to top this soap off. Um, I might have to put a little bit more in there. So, That's some good stuff right there. here there you go that lather's done so at this point this is when I take my my hot towel and I'll lather up do my face all right after I'm done doing that I wet my brush and then we will take our straight razor which has already been stropped this is a German bowl I get 12 and a half so it's about a hundred year old razor um, Good shaver, it's a 4 8 so it's a half an inch. Um, so it's a small razor. It's got a very, very wicked point on it. Um, I have caught myself before. So let me go ahead and do, finish doing my pre-shave, and I'll be right back. All right, guys. That was quick. We're ready to go. Let's get into it. So off the tub, this, this soap is probably in the 2.5 to 3 out of 5 range. But once lathered up, holy cow, this this is potent stuff. Um, kind of like a Tina and Noir Vanille. It really blooms out. Um, I would say it's easily a four and five. Um, scent wise, remember I could I could I could pick out some of those scent notes. Well, the pine and the and the fur really come out and, and, and it's like a pine resin versus like a, a fresh pine smell Just add a little bit of water here Shiny this leather's getting, hopefully. 
Okay. Let's get the shaving. That's enough lather, guys. Got to wipe my razor. So, performance-wise, um, it feels like I hit the sweet spot on the soap. Um, which is... Quite impressive, because I think I hit the sweet spot on the soap the last time I used no water as well, with a... Uh, Noir Vanille. Um, so the fact that I'm two for two with lathers in this tells you how easy this stuff is to lather. Um, both as far as finding out how much water you need um, as well as how forgiving it is if you're not I really haven't gone out and tested how much water this soap can take. Um, residual slickness is, is pretty good. Um, so usually when I test residual, I'll add water to my face, kind of like this. residual and I'm not so much concentrating on the the face as I'm looking at what comes off of on the blade right there um, you know if it's it's fairly clear um, then it's not leaving a lot behind if it comes off milky white obviously not lather white but milky white then it's got a good residual um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead finish up my other two passes and i'll be right back afterwards all right, all right guys finished up with the shave got a good one um not as close as normal but i really wasn't pushing it today um not that i chase every day anyway because i don't go against the grain um, but uh yeah Another good shave with no blotter. It really kind of reaffirmed my my feeling on it for the first time around. First time around, I give it a score of 52.5 out of 55, uh, scoring just below Ariana and Evans and Declaration Grooming. Declaration Grooming is Bison Towel, I should say. Um, but, I mean, it, this is where it should be, 52.5. Holy cow, has since surpassed it. Uh, but, uh, from yesterday's shave, actually, this is still a great soap. So the scent on this, not one of my favorites to be to be brutally honest. Um, it's very pine resin heavy, um, almost like a pine tar smell, which is fine, but it, it kind of overlays everything else. Uh, you do get 
the 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 hint or the suggestion of juniper you get the suggestion of oak moss and lavender like you get a little bit of a sweet hit just for a second and then it's gone and it's replaced by the fir and the pine um it, it's it's not a bad scent it's not a scent that i don't enjoy i do enjoy it um, it's just not going to be something that i reach for over something like Marc de Condre original or uh Champs de Lavande or Lavande, uh, Lavender Pure, Pure Lavender by Declaration Grooming, um, uh, etc. You know, King of Oud. Um, this this won't be the first one I grab. I'll grab Tainawari Tain Vanilla over this. Uh, but it's still a good scent. So don't let that discourage you. Um, if I had to rank the scent, because I do rank the scent, I have a spreadsheet. I'll, I can show you guys um, in another video. I can show you guys my spreadsheet, uh, but uh, I do rank my soaps by stuff scent preference. I also work in price um, for these videos. I only do performance. Um, I take those two variables out, and this I would probably rate around a 15 or a 16 out of 20. Um, like I said, not unenjoyable. Not my favorite though. So, yep, there you go, Noble Water the trail um if you got you can find them so as far as where to find these guys all right it's a great soap base if you find a scent that you like go for it um you can find them at um i believe west coast shaving maggard razors groomatorium doesn't have them um as well as their website www.noblewater.com that's actually where i ordered my stuff off of um so if you haven't found us at the Shaving Cadre, go ahead, uh, visit us. Uh, our bingo game is going to be starting up here very, very shortly. And uh, those are a lot of fun. we got a member-driven video forum. Uh, tons of discussions on wet shaving and everything else, uh, uh, grooming and miscellaneous topics. We've got a topic for Hawaiian shirts. Hence my Hawaiian shirt yesterday. So come visit us. Until then... Thanks for watching, guys. 